All right, guys. So if you know me, you know I've been here since October in Thailand, Phuket, and it is now June. And unfortunately, I have to go home in three weeks to London. Finally, run out. I don't know how long I'm gonna go for. If you don't know me, just follow my journey. I've been here since October, nine months. I was gonna do. I did some Muay Thai fights. Plan was to stay here, but we've got to go back. The worst thing is the beach has just opened. I met a beautiful lady over there, and I'm having to come home. So I'm happy I get to see my friends, but oh, I have to leave here. Now for some reason, in the nine months that I've been here in Thailand, in Phuket, I've never taken a late night walk on the beach. And it's amazing. It's about 10 p.m. And obviously, there is minimal people here. But it's just, it's just nice. Hey there. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hello, you. Why are you making noise? Why you want to get fuss? Oh, I fuss you. I fuss you. There's another thing I never did while I was here. Beach running. It's crazy. I always think, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Now I'm coming back. Start doing these. So this is the one the biggest thing I'm gonna miss in Thailand. It's like just driving around with shorts on at the top. Drive around. This is like a simple thing that I'm gonna miss. And come on, look, all the time we're doing bike, chilling, everything else on bike. This is life, mate. This is what I'm gonna miss when I'm gonna And I'm gonna miss just coming off the road looking at these beautiful views And yeah, I know I can go to any place to train in a gym, but I'm gonna miss my here in Phuket. Neon gym. And you know, one, the one thing I'm going to miss the most is that you just chill on the beach and the dog just come up to you and chill with you. But I've fed so many, I've fought so many, I've seen so many. Like It's like they're all my dogs now. I love them. I'm going to miss them a lot. And cats. But yeah, the dogs. They yeah, just chill with you on the beach. But obviously, out of all that, I'm going to miss the most this lady here. <laughs> So yeah, sad times, sad times, gotta come home to London. But there's some good things in London, but some really good things here, so. What'd you say? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Nine days to go. You know what, I'm feeling alright about it. Feeling like, yeah, I could go. I think I got in my mind a couple weeks ago. I was like, no, please. But, you know, it's been, you know, I've been appreciating and thankful that I've been here, grateful. And then thinking, you know, it's all right, go back home, start another little journey. Don't know when I'm going to be back here, which is a bit of a pity, but you never know what's going to happen. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to going home. I heard it's like 34 degrees in London, so that's pretty sweet. 
because I've been running through all the things I'm going to miss. Like, oh, the beach is just obviously one of the biggest ones. Even though it's 6.30 p.m., look how many people there are. This is such a simple thing as well. The beach, such a good thing, such a nice thing. Agree with me. I saw him doing that as I was talking. Yeah, so let's come watch the sunset. Beach life. There's no sunset. But... We don't even care, look, no sun, but we still love it. So I'm going to miss this a lot. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I was going home at eight days, but I got an email saying my flight's been cancelled, which is crazy because my money is literally lasting me to the end of my stay. And now my flight's been cancelled, and I'm not going to do the agency said well, we're chasing the airline basically the money could come back to you several months so that's like the money it all I had to book the flight so what I'm doing is trying to work out something now to get some funds and if it works out I should be able to stay here a bit longer but it's a shout out to Matthew Jagger who runs Shepton uh, Shepton Tire Boxing Club and my friend Suraz they fucking kindly just sent me over some money to help me like fucking eat and stuff and like without them guys I'll be struggling so thank you so much um, I really appreciate it like it's crazy when someone helps you out like just they don't have to let's just see what's happening now just help you out and it's crazy I really appreciate it it's crazy but um so that's the latest man I'm just waiting to see what happens um a bit unsure now so just have to wait and see all right forget this so my flight was cancelled the refund's gonna take several months I tried to get money from the UK government saying that they can give you a loan that you pay back in six months um, if you're stuck in, in the country because of Corona. So I gave them the information, I asked for what they could give me, which is 3,000. They asked me what it was for. I told them what it was for, gave them all the information. They said, oh yeah, you're not eligible. Right, even though my money runs out in four days, yeah, the refund's not gonna come to me in several months. My money runs out in four days for food, my money runs out for rent, and they said I'm not eligible. It still makes me laugh that the UK government are offering a loan <laughs> they offer you up to a three thousand pound loan to cover your cost for up to three months if you're stuck in the country without being able to return because of corona and i'm like hey i'm stuck in a country for, because of corona i can't get back home because my flight's been cancelled because of corona my money runs out in three days to live to eat um can i have the three thousand pounds that you're offering they asked what it's for i told them exactly what it's for the breakdown and everything i even told them i'm paying for my own medication seeing as it's run out because you know we've been unable to go back to the uk um then they say hey you're not eligible because you meet the criteria of everything that we're offering for you but you're not eligible i mean they didn't actually say that you meet the criteria but what i'm saying is i do 100 percent meet the criteria i even showed them my cancelled flight that was for the seventh which proved that i wanted to go back to the uk but it's cancelled and you know the funny thing is that you will know, the UK government at the time they see, they will know that the flights are getting cancelled because they can just see everyone's flights are getting cancelled. Like, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. They're just like saying, do you know what, bro? You do definitely meet the criteria, but we don't really give a shit that your money's going to run out. And you can just die, basically, in Thailand. It's fine. We don't really want to help you. So, sweet. Thank you, government. Thank you, UK government. So, wow. My old coach, Shiraz, from... Um, sorry, my old coach Shabs from uh, Barnet Combat Academy, my old Muay Thai club, he's come to my rescue. He literally just sought me out some money like in this stressful situation. It's going to save me to help me live, pay my rent. I cannot thank you much. I cannot thank you enough. Sorry, I can't even talk. Shocked at the UK government and I'm, I'm, I'm so appreciative of this. Like, Shabs, you're the you're the man. See that family, like family, like he says. So I just want to give a big shout out to you. Like save me, literally save me. So, all right. So it's the fourth of July. Um, so like then the beginning of the video, my friend uh, she um, created a GoFundMe page, and I've had some real like real good some response like from friends, and um, I'm, so I'm just grateful. I had some help. 
help me like get some food, I can stay stay a bit longer, um, pay some rent, and uh, I'm just shocked by the that people want to help help out and. Yeah, without these guys, without you guys, I'd just be. I won't be able. I won't be able to go do carry on. And um, I say carry on. That's a bit dramatic. I mean, I could. I, I won't be able to just continue to like eat and live. There. So the goal is to um, just keep chasing the airline to get the refund back, and um, really just keep a tr keep a look at the airlines and make sure. Like I just had a, a friend's flight the 25th cancelled. My friend James, he's got a flight the 31st with the same airline. He's worried that his is going to get cancelled. Like, just going to keep a track of the airlines to make sure, like, to see when they're properly going, no cancellations. Maybe it's a problem from here to London. Maybe that's the problem. Um, so that's the biggest thing. But I just want to thank everyone that's helped me out, and uh, I'm all right for now. So uh, I'm going to put the. I hate to ask, but I'm going to put the GoFundMe page link in my description if you guys want to help out. Be truly grateful. But like I said, I'm really grateful. And it's just, a, it's just weird when you get help. So thank you guys so much.